The two cases of BA2 in Santa Clara County were discovered when virus samples from two patients with COVID were sent to a lab for sequencing. Santa Clara County health leaders confirmed two cases of BA2, the latest subvariant of Omicron, yesterday. BA2 sublineage of Omicron is much rarer, um, but it has begun to pop up in places, um, including in California um, and, of course, in, in Santa Clara County. It's news that certainly will put people on edge. The question now is, how is it different than the original Omicron variant? It could be a little more transmissible. But UCSF infectious disease specialist Dr. Monica Gandhi says there are several reasons why you probably should not be overly concerned about BA2. If you've already seen Omicron, you're completely protected against it. The vaccines will still work against it because it's really almost the same virus. The Santa Clara County BA2 cases were detected using genomic sequencing. While Stanford Clinical Virology Lab is not the lab that found these, it's on alert and looking for more. And that's important because BA2 is nearly impossible to detect without this deeper dive. The Stanford lab sequences more than 3,000 virus samples a day and uses a global database to look for any new variants. This database now that there is another database that pulls data from there that can actually tell you that, hey, there is now, you know, BA1, BA2 and gives you the various lineages. BA2 has been detected in at least 40 countries and has been been labeled a variant under investigation. But Dr. Gandhi says with evidence showing Omicron cases in the Bay Area already peaking and now dropping quickly, don't expect BA2 to have the same impact as original Omicron. It's not going to give us another wave because that's not what happened in Europe or the UK. Some much needed good news about the latest pandemic twist. In San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.